Snort is not, let's re-emphasize, is not a hacking tool. Instead, it's a defensive tool. It is a tool, it's what's called an intrusion detection system. It's a, it's a system that is looking for attacks against your system and then sends you an alert that it's, you know, this looks suspicious. This looks like it might be somebody trying to attack your system. And you know, one of the things that you and I talked about in an earlier video is that I used it in Linux Basics for Hackers as an example. You can use, you can use any file for an example, but I wanted to use Snort just because it's a widely used cybersecurity tool. It's now owned by Cisco and uh, their Talos group was originally an independent company that they purchased. And that's part of their cybersecurity group within Cisco. And as you know, and you've pointed out several times, Cisco's really emphasizing cybersecurity. It's a big new initiative on their part. They started off as a networking company and they were very successful at that. They became the biggest in the world. And now they're really pushing cybersecurity, which they should. Right? And part of that is they purchased well, they just recently purchased Splunk, right? And then they purchased Snort like in 2014. So Snort is, was the world's most widely used intrusion detection system. And although you may not see its name out there, it's built into a lot of IDSs, including the Cisco products. Even other manufacturers, because it's open source, other manufacturers can use it as their back-end software and then put a different front end on a different GUI on the front end of it. Snort, if you want to go ahead and download it out of the, one of the package managers, uh, you can get it from the Debian package manager. I think Ubuntu also has it built in there. It is not in the Kali repository any longer, unfortunately. But all you have to do is, as you know, all you Linux experts out there is you need to go to your sources, the Etsy apt sources list, all right? We'll already, I'll open it up. Okay, so we'll just use, we'll go um, mouse pad, and then we'll go Etsy uh, apt sources list. All right, you open up this file, and this is where your system looks for packages, all right? These are the repositories. And so you can see that I've got several of them in here, including right here, this is the Debian package manager. And this is where you will find it, all right? It is available there, as well as other places as well. So you just need to add this to your sources list and then do update, sudo apt update, and it'll update your packages. So Snort is designed to be able to sniff on your wire, okay, your Ethernet or whatever the, the interface you have could be used on a wireless interface, it could be used on a wired interface, but it's designed to sniff the package, each packet that comes along to sniff it and determine whether or not that packet is malicious or not. If you're a hacker, the beauty of understanding Snort is that you understand what the security devices are doing that you're trying to get past, right? You know, you want to know what, how are they trying to determine whether or not this packet is malicious, and what can I do to evade their detection? If you're a cybersecurity pro, of course, you want to understand this tool to be able to use to alert you. And also, if you're really adept at it, you can enhance it to do even better than what it's designed to do. And we have a class coming up in early 20... We, we've done a class on Snort. We're going to be doing a new updated version this spring on Snort. So for those people who are interested in getting to understand, understand this tool better, we have that coming up in the very near future, in a few months. So to run Snort, all you need to do is go Snort and then uh, dash VDE are the switches. Uh, we could go ahead and just do a dash H to look at the help screen, there's lots, once again, there's a lot of options, but we can boil it all down to a very simple command. Artie Roche, okay, is the uh, one who developed it. Uh, I think he's now, he's a venture capitalist, I believe now. He's no longer doing cybersecurity, but he 
He developed this in 99, I think, at, while he was working. He was working at um, GTE in Canada, if I remember correctly. 98, this was right here, right? And then uh, he sold it to a company called Sourcefire, and then Cisco bought Sourcefire, and it's still a viable product, okay? It's still out there. It's still open source, so you can still use it for free. Well, if you know how to use it, and so we can boil down the command to dash v d d, okay, and then dash c, and then the location of the configuration file. And that configuration file is going to be at Etsy, snort, usually, not always, but usually, snort cuffs. And if I typed it all correctly, we should get it to run, and it'll begin sniffing on my wire. It comes back and says, parsing rules file, snort count, permission denied. When I see that, that immediately tells me that I, I'm not root, and I need to be root. So that's all I need to do. And there it goes. So, so what snort is doing is it's taking every packet and examining it and It'll look at the header first, and then we'll start looking in the payload to see whether or not anything in that packet matches known exploits. And if it does, it'll send you an alert, and you can determine where those alerts go to. It can go into a database. It can go into your log files. It can go into your alert files. You see every packet coming across here. All right? And so this is an excellent tool. You know, it's as good as any, I can say this, I think, unequivocally, it's as good as any of the commercial tools. It just has a little bit of longer learning curve. You know, the, the commercial tools that you'll pay thousands of dollars for are, are excellent tools like Palo Alto Networks and others. But Snort does just as good a job, but it has a little bit longer learning curve in being able to understand how it works and how you can enhance its capabilities. And that's part of what we try to teach you our upcoming snort class. Okay. I love so that it's part of like firewalls like PFSense has it. So you can just use it at home for free. Right. It's fantastic. Yeah. Use it use it at home for free. Right? Yeah. Use it at home. Use it at your small business. You know, and if your this cybersecurity is your industry, you know, it's a good way to train yourself in how IDSs work because Really, they're all working the same way. I mean, they're all going ahead and examining each packet. They sniff off the wire, they examine the packet. Now the rule set and the way they apply rule sets, there's some variation there, but basically we're looking at the same process. And if you're not willing to spend the thousands of dollars to buy one of those commercials and you're just learning, this is a good place to learn because it's all right. free. Exactly. And it's doing the same thing that the commercial products are doing giving you a good background in ideas.